Hey guys, Lazy Man here. Hey, I've received a couple requests on how I actually package the PC up for shipment. And so I thought it would just be appropriate that I make a short little video uh, showing those who are interested on actually how I you know, package this up. Now we are going to be using the original box here, as you can see. And we'll use the, the foam inserts that came with that to, to protect the exterior of the case. But our concern here is you know, with this going through FedEx or UPS, you know, they're not always the most gentle with our with our equipment. So what we've got to do is we've got to protect the inside there. And if we take a look here, you see the GPU, you know, there's a little bit of movement in there. The sound card, there's a little bit of movement. And even the CPU has some. So what we need to do is, is try to fill the void there so we can either minimize the movement or eliminate it completely. So what I like to do is I have these foam strips here. You know, I have these in different thicknesses, and I'll just cut them to length, and I will, you know, I'll fill up the void. Now I'm pretty fortunate that I have a neighbor who sells uh, shutters for a living. So I've got an endless supply of, of those foam sheets. But you know, you could use popcorn. You could put popcorn in here. Um, which you know, I have. We take a look here. You know, I keep a full garbage can of popcorn. But uh, I don't think I really want to use the popcorn inside the case there. I think it's just gonna, it's just gonna, you know, make it a little more uh, troublesome for the for the client. So those foam sheets are the, the my preferred method. You also you're gonna need some bubble wrap, and I like using this stuff here. Uh, it's, it's it's a lot more sturdier than let's say some of this. Uh, this thin stuff here, you know, this is good for you know a CD or something like that, or you know maybe if you wrap this around something, you know, five six times, it, you know, it'll protect it. But we definitely don't want to be using that on our PCs. You know, this is good. It's a little bit larger bubble wrap, but even that, I'm, you know, maybe on top when I put it in the box, if I have to fill a void, I might use some of that. But again, I like this stuff here. I also like this here. This one's been kind of beat up, but you know this it covers up a lot of volume there. So anyway, after we go ahead and get that all, you know, filled up and, and we, we're comfortable with it, you know, we'll put the side panels on. I will put a piece of cardboard around the outside, tape that down. Then we'll take the foam out of the box and we'll sandwich the uh, PC within that, and we'll put it in the box there. Uh, well, another thing I do is I go ahead and we can take a look here. This is just a standard bathroom scale. Um, you can buy a postal scale if you'd like to go ahead and weigh, weigh it before you uh, you know take it down to FedEx so you have an idea what it's going to cost. That way you can get that information to the client. But this scale works really well. Um, be careful though, not all scales, not all bathroom scales are very sensitive. So they, you know, maybe something that weighs 20, 30, 40 pounds, it may register, but, you know, you get down to something a little bit lighter, you may not get a reading on it. Or a postal scale, you know, it'll go down to, to ounces. So anyway, let's get started on this and, uh, and see how it looks. All right, just real quick, guys, on what my plan is. First of all, I'm going to start off here where the memory is. Uh, I'll fill the void in between the memory, you know, and then use this side of the memory and over here to actually fill that void. Then I'll use the fan on the cooler and the optical drive and you know fill that up with the foam. Same thing up top. Same thing over here. Now I don't want to actually fill this void up quite yet. What I want to do is work my way down here, start here, and you can see with these thumb screws and the cables coming through, you know, instead of just placing foam on top of that and working your way up. You know, I'm going to actually make some cutouts to actually mimic where those are. That way I know the foam is sitting completely flat on the surface. Then I'll fill up the void up to the sound card and there is a possibility you know, that I might remove this sound card. And the client can, you know, that's a pretty simple, just pop it in the PCI Express so uh, he shouldn't have any problem with that or the PCI slot. But what I got to do is after I build this bottom piece then I want to support the GPU here you know, out on the end. So I'm going to build this up so this is nice and supported. 
And then once that's supported, then I'll either pull the sound card out or I'll fill the void here. Then I'll come up and I'll fill the void there. So other than that, the only other thing that I feel I need to take care of, uh, the, P, or the PSU, it's stable. I don't think I have to worry about that. This fan is good, but the hard drives here, you know, move around quite a bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'll disconnect the cables down there. I'll pull out this hard drive cage, and I will pack this so those have no movement at all. Then I'll put it back in. And what I'll do is I'll just leave the cables there. I'm not going to plug the cables back in. You know, the client's going to have to pull this out to, to remove the foam. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get the foam cut. Um, and then when I go to install it, uh, I'll show you guys how it fits. All right. All right, guys, as I was cutting this up, I figured someone's going to ask me what do I use to cut the foam with. And so I thought I might as well show you. First of all, you know, you want to measure how long you need the pieces. And then once you know that, of course, mark your piece. For instance, if I needed it, say right there. And what I use is just a standard coping saw. And it cuts relatively easily. All right, this stuff is quite messy. So what I'd like to do is, you know, you gotta clean off these edges, and you can rub this with your fingers. But what I notice works really well is if you just rub it against itself. That actually takes off the loose uh, styrofoam and then it flattens out the edge that you just cut. So then you end up with a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but a fairly nice clean cut edge. Also, uh, you know, a box knife, I use that, that works. Um, but pretty much just the, uh, the coping saw. And then uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is you're going to need some cardboard um, just to fill in some of the smaller gaps. And so just have some cardboard handy, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you, you know, I've got all the pieces cut, and let me show you those real quick. Alright guys, as you can see, i got all the pieces cut. Uh, I numbered them just really for my own benefit, um, so I just know exactly where, you know, where they, where they go. But as you can see, as I take tape and I wrap this up, it's, it serves two purposes. One, it keeps them bound together. And the other is, is so when the client gets this, you know, it's not full of, you know, that there. So anyway, that's just uh, something that I do. You know, you don't have to wrap these in tape, but, you know, I use just regular clear wrapping tape or packaging tape. It's very inexpensive, um, and it works out real well. All right, so let's go ahead and install these in the uh, in the case. Okay, guys, I've got the over-the-shoulder cam set up, so I hope you guys can see everything. Um, as you can see down here on the bottom, we were going to pull the cage out and fill the voids up with the foam, but as I was trying to take off the SATA cable and the power cable, you know, it is a little tight in this area, and I didn't want the cut the client to have to hassle with that, so I used the bubble wrap that we had. And I left a little tab here, if you can see this, there's a little plastic tab that he can pull on and that'll pull the bubble wrap right out. I also did the same thing for the hard drive on the other side, um, but in that case what I had to do was put part of the bubble wrap in between the two hard drives and then leave him a little tab to pull out. So anyway, um, we'll go ahead and just start installing these pieces. And again, I'd like to start here with the memory, I don't know if you guys can see that, let me uh, pause for a minute. Alright guys, I think we can see that a little bit better. So anyway, what I do is I start with the one in the middle, put that in there, and then I have another one here. And if these are too thick, you know, all you got to do is put them on a table and, you know, smash them down a little bit and get them to fit perfectly. And they'll expand a little bit after you smash them down, but not so much that it's going to break anything. And that's you know, here we're trying to prevent something from breaking. So that being said, and keeping that in mind, when you go to put this in, if, if it's too thick or it's whatever, do not try to force it in. Um, you know, you want this to fit in so it just fills the void. And you can see it kind of stabilizes the memory there. And I should have shared, let me show you real quick again. If you look at the memory here, see how much the memory wobbles? So with these in here, you 
you know, now the memory doesn't wobble. And that's all we're trying to uh, achieve there. All right, so then uh, we'll go ahead and put this piece up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Piece up here, which is this one here. You see it just slides right in. Okay, and then this one here. So then now what we'll do is we're going to move down to the bottom here and adjust this. So let me show you the piece here. I don't know if the camera is with the lighting, but you can see where I cut I cut out for the the cables. This is for the thumb screw. So anyway, I'm gonna show you real quick. If you just take a this ain't quite long enough. Here, let me use this other side. If you were just to take the foam and set it in there, you can see how it's it's not gonna work very well. So you gotta take the time, lay out where your cables are and then make your cutouts and then put that in and it fits in there nice and flat. All right, and it does move around a little bit, but once we put our other pieces in, uh, it'll be nice and stable. So we got that in. Now we'll go ahead and put the piece in here. Um, well actually, I'm gonna start over here. So that's the next, see that's six, seven. See, I forgot where I was. <laughs> I couldn't ruin the piece. So that one goes there, seven. And then number eight, goes here and you just, you, I don't know if you can see this but you guys will know on, on the back side of a PC, P, PCB board you're going to have solder joints and they're going to snag on the foam so you want a piece of cardboard first and then and that is not the right piece this is the piece here so you're going to slide that right in and actually this one goes down here All right, and another thing I want to bring to your attention is if you're trying to support something, you're going to want to support them on top of each other, meaning that, you know, if you're supporting it right here, you want this piece right above that. You don't want to support this out here and then have this piece here and put in tension on the, the board, um, which could eventually warp the board. So keep everything in line, and that'll keep this not only stable, but it won't put so much pressure on the board here where it can warp it because again you, right underneath it you have support. Alright so then uh, number 10 piece was this piece here and that slides right in and then for the final piece is this here and we'll come up a little bit so you can see that and then this one slides in right there. All right, you can see this is a little loose so again just take a piece of cardboard and then you're going to wedge that in there. All right, and you can see that stabilizes everything. So, I didn't know you guys couldn't see that, but here you can see that the GPU doesn't move now, the cooler doesn't move and the sound card. So everything is, is nice and secure. It's nice and tight where they're not going to fall out during shipment. So I think we're ready now to go ahead and put the side panels on and then cover the, uh, the panels with a piece of cardboard on either side. And then we'll put it in the box. All right. Well, one thing I wanted to mention before we put the side panels on is the bubble wrap that I have. And this is what we're going to use this for, is that the voids that we have between my foam and the side panel, I'm going to fill the voids with the bubble wrap. And this way, you know, I'm assured that even if there's a, you know, the package gets bounced around pretty rough, that my foam's not going to have a tendency to pop out or move or shift. So anyway, uh, that's what the, the bubble wrap, or that's what I use the bubble wrap for. Alright, so I'm going to put the side panels on and then we'll, uh, alright, as you can see, I went ahead and got the side panels on. Now I'm going to take a piece, a piece of cardboard that I've notched out to go around the wheels and we'll put that around the case.
Alright. Alright, the next thing we want to do is actually get the foam that came with the case back on. But as you can see here, we've installed the wheels, so we have this mechanism down here. So again, we just got to notch out the foam. And I've just used the, the blade from the scroll, scroll saw. And I'm just going to estimate, you know, center and then just cut it. I guess you could use a hot knife or you could use a, uh, you know, utility knife. But I just had this sitting on my bench, so i just use that. So anyway, there you go. And now we'll go ahead and put the case in into the, uh, the box here. All right, I find the best way to do this is to lay that down flat and then go ahead and put the case into it. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and got the foam on both the bottom and on this end here, but we had to modify the foam a little bit here, which I was assuming we might have to due to the wheels. Uh, we just had to cut a little bit here and then you know, we cut out the opening for the, uh, for the break. So anyway, we're going to try to get this in the box now. All right, guys, I got it in the box here. Uh, that's probably going to be one of your challenging things is try to get that in the box and keep this foam intact. Um, you know, it's twice as hard as trying to take it out of the box. But anyway, that's here and over there. Anyway, the last thing I'd like to do before I package this up is I take my foam and I fill the void here on the sides. And that just helps to, uh, in case something was to hit the side of the box, you know, it won't uh, collapse on us. So anyway, I think we're ready to close this up. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, you know, I'll put some fragile stickers on it, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and lay it. See what this thing weighs. All right, guys. As you see, there is a fragile sticker on it, but I like to put one on there, uh, kind of telling them what it is inside the the box, and you know, it's a little bit of free advertising. So why not? All right, let's go ahead and weigh this thing. So let me uh, reposition the camera here. Alright guys, I went ahead and put the scale on the ground and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little so you guys can get a better look, but you want, you know, a bathroom scale, you want to put it on a hard surface. If it has any cushion underneath it, it'll give you a false reading on the actual weight. So anyway, let's go ahead and see what this thing weighs. We'll turn that on. All right, looks like 52.8 pounds. That's a pretty heavy little mid-tower case there. Well, anyway, guys, uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty straightforward on how you want to box this up. Um, this is just a guide. You guys are going to do it however you want. One thing I wanted to, to mention is if you don't have the, you know, the th thin strips of foam that I have access to, you know, every box that you get, it has foam in it. You know, and your neighbors and your friends and your relatives, you know, get, get that foam from them. It'll come in handy. You can use it. You can cut it up. You can mold it however you want. It'll, it'll work. So anyway, this is Lazy Man, and we'll talk to you later.